Fiends, welcome to day three of Sizzling September. Today we are going to <laughs> do that again. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> Today we're going to show you how to make a little fat cheesecake. And um, I'm just going to put the light on. Sorry. Right. I got this recipe off a girl at work who was quite vague about how you make it so it was kind of very much a kind of just experiment. So what you will need for this, which Alec was supposed to have out but it doesn't. I have got enough. Where is the ingredients? The ingredients? Well, I'm just going to put them in there. The cooking apparatus. Oh, okay. Balls and stuff. Okay. So what you need is one mixing bowl. Yes. One whisk. Yes, but it can be handheld. Yeah. One stick blender. Yes. Oh. Definitely need a blender or yeah. any blender of any type. Yeah. You need, yes, a fork. A you fork. need your biscuits. Have you got your biscuits out? Yes, and then you've got, which are now in the tin, the biscuit tin. Right, so these are Smart Price Digestives from Sainsbury's. Yes. But better to use uh, McVitie's Light. Right, but they didn't have those. Light touch, which is synthetic butter, which is low in fat. Yep. And then Where's Alex the just looking for the cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. I thought I'd put it. Oh, there it is. You know, the cottage cheese. And this is be good to yourself. Cottage cheese, very very low in fat, and dream topping. We need Harry, get out. And milk. So we've got our green topping. Mm -hmm. We've got our fat-free skimmed milk, and we've got we need two sachets of we need two sachets of dream topping. So basically, you can add cottage cheese to taste really. So we def you definitely need at least one and a half, but you can use the two if you want. You will be left with a little bit of dream topping, but one of these is not enough. So we've got those. We've got the milk, which is obviously for the dream topping. And we're now going to go ahead and we're going to start with the cottage cheese, I think. Are we going to do that oh, no. first? Alec wants to do the biscuits first. Yes? Yes, the biscuits. Okay, so we're going to take some digestives. How many do you need? Now, it depends how thick you actually want the base. But we're not going to go too thick because these are three grams of fat each. So I think we should go for about six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, put them in and let's see how they go. Now, the best now, thing to do with these is you put them in a bag. Okay. So these are food bags. These are also smart, smart price ones price, yeah. from well, Sainsbury's. You can, like you, you can put them in the bowl and smash them with the bottom of a bottle or with a rolling pin. Yeah. Or you can put them in a food bag. Or you can tie it right there. Or you can put the little tag on, whichever you want to do. Right. But I am going to get your... This is the rolling pin. Why are you looking at me in a threatening manner with said rolling pin? <laughs> yes, you might want to use a board under there because you don't want to mark your events. And then you want to give them a good smack in with the rolling pin. Because you want them to be as, as many little pieces as you can possibly get. You want them to be right down to crumbs. Try not to break the packet though when you're doing Yes, this. yeah. Keep the rolling pin very flat and even so the whole of the surfaces strike on the bag at once and you've got less likelihood of breakages then. Because if you are striking it with just one point then you will break the bag. And is that done? Yeah, it's pretty well done. Yeah, so I think that's okay. We've so got crushed biscuits. Oh, there's a little hole. Right, we've got our crushed biscuits there, and we need to put those in a pan with some butter. A pan? <laughs> yes. So you don't have to use a big pan. If you can get the small pan out, that would be great. I'm going to get this small frying pan out. Small frying pan. Non stick, ideally. He's just going to give it a little wipe. Right, and it's clean it already, Alec. Yes, but you know. But we're cleaning it because it's well, been in storage. What we're doing is cleaning as we go. Yes. Is very hygienic. Yes, okay. Right, so what we want to do is we want to put this on the hob and put some light butter in. You can use full fat butter if you wanted to, but as it's a low fat recipe, you're better off using something like light touch, or I can't believe it's not butter is also good because it's lower in fat. 
yeah but we're going to use this so we'll just lighten the hob there and you need <laughs> baby can you like my hob <laughs> and nice yeah is that enough yeah i think? think that should be enough so mm -hmm. just put a squirt of the butter in there and now we're going to take the, the biscuit crumbs which millie's quite interested in and we're going to pour those in the butter and mix them up which pan are we going to use well, you've got the pan. Are that, that dish there, that non-stick board? Yes. Or are we going to use the one that the, the key? Yeah, I might well we use this one actually. Right, so, we've got a wooden spatula to stir, because obviously it's a non-stick pan and we don't want to damage the pan. So, so in go the biscuit crumbs. In go the crumbs. Try not to dangle your... Dog. Your bag into the hot bag, because it'll burn. Yes, we don't, want to, we don't want to melt the bag into the mixture. Oh, are you dog? No, we don't want to melt the dog in. Hi, Millie. Millie likes to be in when we're cooking. Now, you may need to add some more butter, but you get a feel for that as you're mixing your biscuits in with the, the hot butter. Try not to add too much, because you don't want, it's all about low fat. Yes, it's about low fat, but if you're using low fat butter, or butter substitute like we're using, it's but, quite not quite so but bad. But if you have it, then you can put as much as you want in. Yeah, I think we need a bit more butter. We need more butter, more butter. Oh, dear me, I took that. Yeah, So what you want to do here is you're basically roasting your crumbs a little bit. So I knew you would laugh when I said that. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> so we're just going to roast these till they go. Don't stand too close to the oven as you might roast your plums. <laughs> Unless you're a girl and you don't have plums. <laughs> so <laughs> we're just going to roast them till they're nice and slightly golden brown. And then we're going to get the tin ready. Now, we've got two different tins you can use. It depends what you want to do. We've got a basic cake tin. We find that the best one to use is this type of cake tin where the bottom actually pushes out. Because when you've actually finished and it's set after being in the fridge, you can then push it up and it's easier to cut and then serve. So we're just going to use this and it's just been cleaned. Yes. It's a nice, clean, sterile surface. I think that'll be about it now, Alec. You've got to be careful not to burn these. Yes, don't these burn them. Because you'll get that burnt taste, which will totally ruin your cheesecake. Yes. So yes, you don't want to. I think they're just about right. They've gone a yes, lovely golden yes. brown. Yeah, well, well, yeah. And I can smell them. It oh, only, yes. It only takes a minute or two. So now, transfer to the... Yeah, into the tin. Into the tin. Like so. Oh, smell burning biscuits almost. <laughs> I think we just caught them in time. Yeah. Right, so we're going to put that pan into the dish. Oh, sizzle. And that's what you call cleaning as you go. Yes. And then we're going to take these and with the spatula just even them out across the bottom of the tin. And Alex just using now a pressing can motion. Use, yes, you can use the spatula or a knife. Yes, a knife would do, but I think that a wooden spoon or a spatula is very I'm looking useful. Looking at though, we don't have enough biscuits here. Ah. What would you say? Well. I would say that we've not got enough biscuits. Yeah, we might need a few more biscuits. So we're just going to cook off a few more biscuits, and then you can catch up. With so the dogs are now having digestives. So we did it on six digestives, and that's made a beautiful biscuit base. So we're going to leave that there now and we're going to let that cool off. Well, we're going to put it in the fridge. No, because it's hot. No, so just leave it's not it. hot. Well, just leave it there. It's okay. Because right. it's all going to go in the fridge at the end. So now we're going to move on. Make sure you don't get any of these in it. Hairs. Yes. That would be mine, would it? Yeah. That would be my fault, would it? Yes. Okay, so now the cheeky chef is going to blend down some cottage cheese because we don't want any lumps in our cheese gig. Right, so how many how many tubs do we need? I of use this? a one and a half of these. One and a half. Mm. And these have how many mils in them? 300, 300 grams. So these are, hang on, 300 gram tubs of cottage oh, cheese. Oh. Natural British cottage cheese. So in it goes in there. Naturally British, nice. Actually, I think we'll use them both. 
Oh, looking at it. I'm going to use both then. So yeah, because... I'm going to save some for rye vitas or anything. No, I don't like cottage cheese. Yeah, so you're going to have this? Yes, because I believe the one that I used to use was around 800 grams and I didn't used to use it all. This is 600 grams. So I think that we're going to be about right here. So we're going to put both those tubs in there. Now, if you want to make a cheesecake half the size, then you just alter your amounts. You could just then use one cottage cheese tub and one bird's um, dream topping mix and it would make a smaller cheesecake if you wanted to. You can also use dishes to put these in. Um, we've actually used small dessert dishes uh, if there's been any excess left over. <coughs> and we've actually made individual ones. Oh, uh, stop it. Oh, don't give Harry cottage cheese, that's disgusting. Right. right. Harry so will now. eat anything. Now we're going to take our blender on the highest setting. So Alex is going to plug that in now. And you want to get your blender into the cottage cheese before you turn it on, otherwise you'll get a bit of splatter. And he's going to turn it on full power and blend all the lumps out. Now we turn the I think it tastes a lot better. Yeah. I like it completely blended out. Um, because cheesecake doesn't have lumps in it naturally, it's very smooth. So I do much prefer blending mine right out so it's nice and smooth. Unless you want to call it milk and cheese. Yeah. Which you could do if you had an accident and there was lumps in it. And somebody goes, oh, there's a lump in your cheesecake. You just say, well, that's lumpy, bumpy cheesecake, actually, not just cheesecake. But we want to make an, a lump-free cheesecake. Just blending that down. Okay, so we've probably been blending that for about a minute. Uh, yeah, two minutes. Two minutes of blending. And that's what the mixture now looks like. Now we're going to set this to one side. Millie, that's not for you. And the next thing we want to do is make our dream topping. So we've got a nice glass jug here because we want to put our milk in. So how much milk do you need per one sachet? You need... Oh, Millie does this to look on the bench. It's very sneaky. 150 ml or a quarter of a pint. Right, so you need... 300 mils or a half a pint because we're using two of the dream topping and it's best to mix this in a big glass jug if you can because you can actually measure your milk straight in there and then just add your powder so Alex is going to put in half a pint and we use skimmed milk because that's what we use in the house as it is we, we only drink skimmed milk which is obviously lowest in fat lowest in fat it's actually fat free there you go Lovely. Half a pint. So now we're going to take our dream topping sachets. This is very low in fat anyway. And we're just going to put that in the milk. And that's gone into the milk. And now Alex is going to get the whisker. You can do this by hand, but it's quite tiring. So it's much better to do it with an electric whisker. You don't really want to do it by hand. Right. Because it takes quite a long time. And it's, well. It's tiring. It's a pain in the arm. It's a pain in the arm. A pain in the arm. I get pains in the arm. So I'm oh, okay. well, Next I Make sure I switch that off a second. Now that came on straight away because our little thing is bus there our little speed dial okay we don't so it's, need it's actually in the on position but we don't need to tell people that we don't but people might have been a bit concerned there that as soon as i plug <laughs> 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 it kicked off big style okay well we're now going to blend this mixture till it's nice and thick and fluffy and you can tip your jug upside down and it doesn't come out right. so take it away Take what away? <laughs> Take what away? Oh, whisking. Start whisking. Start whisking. <laughs> oh, but first of all, get your, get your blending tools in there, your blade. <laughs> Otherwise, it does go everywhere.
And this part will take a few minutes to blend so it's nice and thick. And this is going to form soft peaks. Yeah. A little bit like when you're doing a meringue. Yeah. And you can see it's cooking up nicely. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing this for what, about 90 seconds. Yeah. The amazing you know thing about dream topping is it's very low in fat but it's very tasty so it's actually something that you could put with strawberries if you wanted a low fat alternative and it's really nice on any kind of desserts it's just very sweet and I can even eat it on its own uh, sometimes because oh, yeah. I do like the taste um, but the great thing that it says it's very low in fat so if you do have a sweet tooth and you find it hard not to eat sweet things when you're dieting this is a good thing to possibly have in and you yeah. can mix it up and keep it in the fridge for a couple of days as well and if you're, if you're penny pinching as well, like we tend to do sometimes, or you want a cheaper cost item, you can get cream topping, own brand and cream topping as well. Yeah. Which is generally at least 10 pence. Yeah. But this is bird's eye. This is my favourite. It's not bird's eye, is it? Isn't it? Birds. Birds. Not birds, birds. birds. That's right. It's birds. birds. Right, there we do right. the test. Well, I'll take off the thing. So this is your test. And, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my god. If you can tip it upside down, then it's done. Can you? Can you? Yeah. Oh, yay! Done. That's done. Okay. Yeah, that's the acid test. Now, obviously, even if you just leave it for another 30 seconds or so, another yes. minute, it will even get thicker yeah so there we are okay so now if you what do we do? unplug the blender and eject the blades oh it's too stiff alec is going to eject the blades it's because it's not in the off position that's why it has there to we be go. in the off position so there they are in the sink that's going to be easy to clean let them have a little soak so now we're going to mix the two together. Now part of this that I didn't mention at the beginning is you do need some sugar and this is generally to taste how you would like it. Um, we use half spoon which is low fat sugar and we've actually got some in our jar here. So we're going to mix dream topping into the cottage cheese now. So if you want to put in just over half. Just over half of this. Yeah. And we're going to use our... Why are we just using half? Well, we don't use the full amount, so you you can put more than half in. So don't look at me like that. Is, but, you know, put three quarters in. Right. You want to get the amount right. Yes. Don't want to put too much yes, in because you can't to, take it back out. Confused, you don't want to put... Guests. If you put too much I in... I thought it was 50-50, the CMX. No. Not quite. No, so it, there's always a little bit of dream cut up in left. There's over. always a little bit left. And fortunately, we've got some strawberries in the fridge. Yes, so it so. will be eaten because <laughs> I do like it. So, actually, I'm using a fork, but a spoon would obviously be much better. Yes. But it's quite thick, so as it's you okay. See, it's as you can see, it's very now. thick. Now, how much do you want me to use this? More of that. I'm using a little bit more of that. More of that. A bit more. Yeah, keep going. Just yeah. another one, I think. Another yeah, let's so take a look definitely at that. Used about three quarters. Three quarters used there. So yeah. we're going to mix that together now. And do we add sugar now? Not yet. If you mix it together first, and let's see whether that would be enough. And now this is what you call folding it in. Yeah, you fold you the mixture fold it in. so that those two um, two part two parts of the mixture mix together evenly. And it looks very very yummy. Oh. Oh. Now there you are. You see, this is what happens sometimes. <sighs> and you've got. Is that my fault? <laughs> well, it's no. It's a good. It's a red hair. But what it has done, it has got stuck to the fork. So I think what I'm going to do. People are going to think we're so unhygienic now. No, it's just you know they, these things happen in in the kitchen. Okay. Unless you wear protective headgear like hair nets like what we're wearing grass <laughs> right <laughs> i'm gonna cut this up a spoon okay and continue mixing now if that hair had been one of mine and it was grey you wouldn't have seen it no we wouldn't well, have you seen it no so. Anyway, so here we are folding it in again yeah like so and that's it 
then I know. What you want to do is you want to take a small clean spoon and take a small amount of the mixture to taste. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is the balance you... right? Well, I think we need a little more dream topping in there. Do you? So we'll just um So another spoonful? Yeah. Or two. And then we'll put some sugar in and see how we go. Lovely. Now, like I say, sugar is something that you just kind of add for your own taste. So that is very lovely, light, cheesy taste. But if you want a little bit of sweetness, then you're going to want to add some sugar. Now, where is the old? And I was going to take a clean spoon and he's going to taste it now. Definitely needs a bit of sugar for me. Oh yes, so, so just sprinkle it. I generally Ooh. just a what? It's low fat sugar, and I just put a sprinkle right across the surface. Oh, right. And he said, "Oh, even though that wasn't a huge amount, just because he's in a particularly cheeky mood." So we're going to mix all that in, and then do another taste test with a clean spoon. Yeah. So. so, right here we go. That's much better. I think a little bit more sugar would be required. Who's filming who here? I'm filming you here. Oh, right, okay. I thought what do you mean? Okay, right, that's right. Sorry, I was just. Let not... me just see if I conquer, which is the word for agree. <laughs> they know that. <laughs> yes. A touch more. That, yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> now, obviously, if you really want this as a proper low fat cheesecake, low sugar. No, but then it's. Or you can use sweetener. Yeah. Okay. Candorel. Candorel. Or if you want the cheap option, own brand sweetener. But this is half spoon, so it's not as bad as full sugar. Yeah. Plus the cottage cheese is very low in fat, the milk has no fat, the dream toppings very low in fat. So basically the only fat you're putting in is basically some sugar and your base. But we've used um low fat butter or it's actually synthetic butter we've used. This is looking no, it's going to be fine because that firms up once it sets. It has to go in the fridge to set. Right. You will find it will take around an hour we'll go, to set. Yeah, it'll go hard when you put it in the fridge. Yes. Well, stiffen. Mm -hmm. It'll stiffen up if you put it in the fridge. That tastes perfect. Does it? Mm -hmm. Right. Now. Now, if you want to get the biscuit base. Oh, which has been chilling down in the fridge earlier. Yes. And we want to pour the mixture on top of the biscuit base now and smooth it out. Like so. Oh, what a lot of topping we've got. Well, this is generally. I kind of thought that this is going to be give us more than one cheesecake. No, we fill it right to the brim. Right here. Yeah. Oh, we fill it right to the brim. Uh huh. We need more in. Yeah, a little bit more. I think you're still going to need more. Well, not much more because you don't have to overdo it. So, now this is the $64 question because people are watching. Yes. And they're thinking. That we've got a little bit too much. No, because you fill it up. It's a deep cheesecake, not a skinny one. Yes, this is a deep, deep, like New York style. New York cheese style cheese cheesecake. cheesecake. And you can add cheesecake. like a drizzling of syrup on top if you wanted to. Um, we have used like ice cream sauce on top of it before, but we're not right. actually putting anything on it this time well, because this is a low fat. You don't put it onto the set. 
No, not till it's set, otherwise it actually... Well, it's actually, we have tried it when it wasn't set and it sank into the mixture, which was quite nice. But we're not doing that on this occasion because this is a the lowest of low fat options, really. We don't want to put syrup or anything sweet on top. It's actually very sweet as it is. So there it is. So there it is. And there is some mixture left, which we'll actually put in this bowl well, and put that put in the fridge. In the fridge. But we're going to take this and put this in the fridge now. Oh. And Harry's very interested. Get out of the way, Harry. Don't let your dog lick your cheesecake before No. You <laughs> right. right, so it's in the fridge now. Chilling. Chilling. And that's it. So we're left with some, some left mixture. Over. Now, what you can do with this if you want is, because it's just kind of a little bit like a, well, at the moment, it's just dream topping and cheese cottage cheese. So mm -hmm. this is cheesecake topping. Now as you can see it's a little bit fooly if you like. It's a bit runny. Yeah, a little bit runny. So if you, you can eat it like that, or if you really want a special thing, you can add What are you doing now? Oh yes, we've done this before. Lemon curd. Yeah, now this is actually fat. low in fat, isn't it, Olive? Very low in fat. Very low in fat lemon curd. So that's what we'll do with this small bit that's left. This is obviously basics. Basics. I think it's around twenty-one pence, so but it's very tasty. So clean good spoon. we're going to use an, a fresh spoon. From the, the drawer. We're going to take some spoonfuls of lemon curd and pop it into the leftover mixture. So now you don't have the biscuit base to be concerned about, so there's that fat less of this mixture, and lemon curd is very low in fat. And this actually makes a nice dessert on its own, and I often take this to work. Because this is the leftover portion of the meal. Fold it in, mix it in. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> a little dollop went on the floor, but Harry's rescued it. Oh, I can smell that lemon curd. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it smells amazing. So, what you do here is you it into like a worm. Yeah, I'll just grab a glass. Try not to glue it on the side, yes. but it doesn't really matter. I should have used the smaller spoon for this. That's how I've done it. You get the idea, don't you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. My fingers are clean. Mmm. <laughs> Lemon cheesecake. Mix. Mix. Mm. So, I mean, we have had lemon cheesecake by doing this, haven't we? We have, yeah. We've actually made a lemon The other cheesecake. thing that we did do is we actually smeared the chilled cheesecake with lemon curd. Yeah, well. we put lemon curd as the topping, didn't we? Yeah, we've done it as a topping, or we've run it through the mix. Yeah. Like what we've done here today. Yeah. So. Mm, it's lovely, isn't it? Very flavoursome. That's what that looks like. And then over here, I think we could actually put a couple of dollops of dream topping on top. Uh, well, would you want to do that? Mm. I would leave that for the strawberries. All right. Yes. So this can go in the fridge. Mm. There's our leftover dream topping. It'll go on the. Right, what about, is there room oh, for this? did you put the thing Yeah, I did. Like, yeah, ten, yeah, I just yeah. didn't put the heavy oh, loaf yeah, on yeah. it. Yep. Right, so that's everything in the fridge. And we'll now tidy up our surface. And we want to leave that in the fridge for at least, I would say, an hour, possibly two. Um, because it is quite runny at this stage. 
um, but it will set beautifully. So that will actually be dessert for tonight's tea, uh, depending on what time we eat. It might, might actually be tomorrow's tea, um, but it is really lovely. So hopefully you'll give that a try and let yeah. me know what you think. Well, we do have the strawberries. Uh, yes. The beautiful thing about that is, is that we do have our lovely leftover dream toppings, so we are able to eat that tonight. And the one in the wine glass, it depends how you like it taste-wise. You can actually leave that for an hour and eat that because it will, because it's a smaller portion. It will set slightly. It won't set fully, but you could still eat it anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed being in the kitchen with Alec and Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alec and Lisa. Um, that is how we make our little fat cheesecake, and we hope that um, yeah, we'll, uh, you might when, enjoy it. Well, when it, when, it, when it comes out, of it. Yeah, that might actually be in tomorrow's vlog, but I will film it when we cut a slice of it later and enjoy that. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you all soon. Bye.